ready, let's get warmed up. We are gonna start in a tall plank, just like so. You're gonna walk those feet into a hover, walk those feet out, plank jack. Let's put that on repeat. Body staying level, rear isn't going up in the air. Core is drawn in. Last one, let's go to our feet. Give me those jumping jacks. We have a five minute warm up today. So we're putting some moves on repeat here. Three Tabatas today. One Tabata is gonna work our right side. The other Tabata is gonna work our left. And then we'll finish out with a combo Tabata. Let's take squats. Weights in those heels. Be able to wiggle your toes. Shoulders stay tall. Big full motion. Nice. Back down to the floor. Give me that bear crawl position. We're going four upwards, then four backwards. Put that on repeat. Couple more. Nice. Back to our feet, take it to a reverse lunge. We're gonna twist over the knee, alternate. Finding that balance this morning. We got that tall plank coming up where we walk it in, walk it out, plank jack. Perfect, give me that tall plank. Walk it in, walk it out, plank jack. To our feet, jumping jacks. Remember anything I do with the bounce, you can take to a low impact move. Big arms, big feet. Take it to those squats. Couple more before we do our bear crawls. Nice. Bear crawl position, forward for four, backwards for four. Knees up underneath you, body stays level. Try to keep that rear lowered. Back to our feet. Last move here. Reverse, twist over the knee. Got a little lawn noise this morning.
and time. Water in. We got a one minute challenge coming up. We'll repeat this challenge three times today. It will be a walk out or a crawl out. So you get out there, you give me one push up on your toes or your knees, then a squat or a squat jump. That's your minute. Get ready. Let's go. Crawl it out, walk it out. One push up, walk it back in, squat or squat jump. Quick transitions. I can drop to my knees for that push up, back to my toes for my walk in. Halfway. We're at 10 seconds. Time. Nice work. Tabata number one. Got your breath. Grab one weight for me. You're gonna curl with it. You're going to swing with it. Those two moves, three moves, 35 seconds, 10 second rest. Weight in one hand, pick a leg. It'll be a reverse lunge, stand, curl, press. Same leg, same time. Then you're gonna squat thrust back, right arm, swing to the sky, always right. And then kind of a new move. I don't know if we've done this one in a while. One arm goes out in front. My legs are at a diagonal position. I'm gonna come up. Notice I'm coming up on that forearm. Okay, if that looks too challenging, you can always take it to one knee coming in and out, just like so. Getting ready, grab that weight. Take a side of your body, reverse lunge, curl, press. We're not alternating, we're sticking with one side. Big reverse lunge. This is where if you've got a little bit heavier weight, doing one arm at a time allows you to kind of go up on that weight. Time. We're going to our squat thrust. You can walk that back or jump it back. We're gonna swing to the sky. Let's go. Push back, come together, swing to the sky. Weight comes from way underneath you, all the way to the sky. This is also another great move. You have a little bit heavier weight. If not, use what you have. Good. Weight down. Rest. Pick a side of the body. Arm out. Legs at a slant diagonal. Here we go. Use that forearm. Come up on the forearm. Try to touch those toes. Lift and lower. Oblique punches. Remember, I can always take it to one knee. Looks more like this. And also, I can just turn and do an oblique crunch. Lots of options here. Almost there. Time. Back to that reverse lunge, still same side of the body. Let's go.
Bethany almost touches the floor back there. Five seconds. Nice. We grab a little heavier weight. Getting ready for that squat thrust. Let's go. Push it back. We're going to swing to the sky. Digging way underneath. Heavier weight might slow you down. That's okay. You're reaping the benefits from going up on the weight. Weight down. Back to that same side of the body you went down on. Arm out. Legs at a diagonal. Here we go. Come up on that forearm. Looking good. 20 seconds. Remember to breathe. Inhale, exhale. Nice. One last round, same side of the body. Let's go. 35 seconds. Fifteen. Nice. Taking it to those squat thrusts. Jump it back or walk it back. Come on. Dig underneath. Squat to get down, squat to get up. Always protecting the back. Nice. Last time for these oblique crunches on this side of our body. Here we go. Remember, legs are at a little diagonal, slightly in front of you there. That elbow and forearm is there to support and help. 10 seconds. Woo! Time. Water in. Going back to that one minute challenge. Same moves. We're going to walk it out. Push up, squat jump, or squat. Let's go. Walk it on out, curl it on out. Give me a big push up on your toes, on your knees. Whatever you got today. Float off that ground. You're doing the squat jump. Twenty seconds here. Almost. Ten. 
time. Nice. Breathe, breathe, breathe. So you know the moves. We got the other side of the body to work. Same time, same moves. Getting that weight ready. 35 seconds. Starting session. Reverse lunge. Let's go. Work. Big step back, curl, press. Weight goes to the ground on that reverse lunge, slightly above it. Probably notice one side of your body is a little stronger than the other. <laughs> Rest. Woo! Squat thrust with that swing to the sky. Let's go. Push it back, weight underneath to the sky. You have multiple sets of weights. It's okay to do heavier on the one set. The first one, go down for the second one. Change it up, add some variety. Time. All right. Rest. Other side of the body. Arm is out. Legs at a diagonal. Let's go. What's challenging today is to hold on to the weight to cause all the sweat in my hands. <laughs> Looking good, hanging in there, 10 seconds. Time, back to our feet. Rest. Round two, reverse lunge. Make sure it's still that other side of the body. Find that big range of motion. Nice big curl. Five seconds. Nice. Swing into the sky. Pop it back or walk it back. That weight is coming way underneath your body, all the way up. Twelve seconds. Take it down. Legs diagonal. Here we go. Try not to let those feet drop to the floor. So you can let them hover above the ground. Hard to see the timer. Otherwise, I'd tell you, but hang in there. Time. Come on. Round three. Let's go.
12 seconds. Woo! Nice. Rest. Two more moves. Let's go. Pop it back. Twelve seconds. Rest. Last oblique crunches here. Let's go. Breathe, breathe, breathe. We're almost there. 12 seconds. Nice. Water in. Five and a half minutes. You're done. We got our last one minute challenge. Same moves. Inhale, exhale, getting ready, let's go. Crawl it out, walk it out, big push up. Walk it back in, squat or squat jump. Our last little Tabata is 20 second work, 10 second rest, three moves and three rounds. We can do that. Twenty five seconds to go. Fifteen. Five. Time. Breathe, breathe, breathe. All right, tricep focused. We have got 20 seconds of work. Changing up the timer here. Perfect. And three moves are weights. We'll be kicking it back. Squeeze in the back top part of our arm. Move two, making a diagonal there or a diamond, I should say. That diamond goes under your chest, down and up. Okay, it looks like a push up, focuses a little bit more on your triceps. Then we've got our touchdowns where we touch and we pop up or we squat and get back up. Let's go. Grab two weights. If needed, you could do these single. Starting session. It's only 20 seconds. Let's go. Kick it back. Your focus is on the backward motion, not the forward motion. Squeezing the back top part of your arm. Little pause at the top. Nice. Make it down. Make that diamond. Most likely on your knees. You certainly can be on your toes. Down and up. You probably won't go down as far either. These are a little harder. If they become too hard, just get take it wide hand and give me that regular push up or closed hand like this closer to your body. 
and just change it up. Nice. We're going touchdowns. You're not adding the hop, just give me squats. Come on, it's 20 seconds. You gotta move when it says go. Drop it low, keep shoulders tall. Two more. Rest. Two more. One of those kickbacks. Hinge. Squeeze. If I needed to, I can take that to single. Nice flat back. Lower those shoulders away from your ears. Nice. Rest. Diamond push ups. Weights under the hand, uh, chest. Those hands want to slide forward. Almost there. That's a double whammy. Double whammy on those triceps. Come on. If I am squatting, I'm going up and down as quick as I can, keeping that nice form. 10 seconds. If not, dropping the rear low. Well done. Rest. One minute of work and you're out. Let's go. Work. Little pause at the top. Squeeze. Nice. Diamond. Let's go. Chin should be higher than your pointer fingers. And if not, maybe level. I know my hands slide forward as we go. If it's harder to go low, that's okay. Nice. Oh. Last 20 seconds. Come on. Done. You finished. Water, stretch, 